When you're an investor selling multifamily assets, there are five big red flags that you want to run the opposite direction from when you see them from buyers turning in offers. Let's go! The first red flag to avoid, small escrow deposits. First, we should define reasonable escrow deposit. It really depends on the size of the deal, but basically you want the buyer to be putting down enough of a deposit that it would hurt a lot if they had to walk away from that deposit in comparison to the size of the deal. Any buyer is gonna have to put down 20 to 30% equity to buy the asset anyway, so it shouldn't matter to have to put down reasonable deposits. Putting down small deposits means they could be spread too thin on other deals and don't have the money. It could mean they're just trying to get in as cheap as possible to go out and find the equity to actually close on the deal. And it shows they aren't confident enough either in themselves or the deal to actually close on it and therefore they want as least amount of possible at risk. Number two, excessive due diligence periods. It would be unusual for any one asset to take longer than 30 days to perform physical inspections, the phase one environmental, survey, and title. If one were buying a portfolio within the same city of multiple assets, I could see up to 45 days, and a portfolio that may go across many cities or states could be up to 60 days. The exception to those three time frames would be if there's anything peculiar with your asset that needs to be worked out. Excessive due diligence periods oftentimes means they don't have the equity to close, so they need time to go raise it. It could mean they don't have the manpower or connections to vendors to get the inspections done on time. Or it could mean, again, they're too busy on other deals. Either way, be cautious because there's a red flag flying in the air. Number three, there are lots of delays before you even go to contract. There's delays in getting you the contract after a signed LOI. There's delays in responding to changes on the contract. There's delays in signing the contract after everything's been agreed to. If they can't do the easy things quickly, how do you think they're going to act during the due diligence period and possible closing delays? Lots of delays up front shows they aren't sure and they're just buying time, which is basically a free due diligence period you didn't agree to. Number four, in a multiple offer situation, if a buyer jumps way too high from their first offer to their second offer, big red flag. When that happens, that screams to me as a broker that they're just trying to secure the deal at any price so that they can get you far down the line during due diligence and retrade. If you've got a $10 million deal and a buyer turns in a $7.5 million offer, then learns of other offers that have come in and comes up to $9.8 million, that don't make any sense. You want to contract with a buyer who knows they're going to perform at a certain price, not use the entire DD period to figure out how the hell they're going to get to the price they offered. And number five, don't ever contract with a buyer who refuses to tour the asset until after a fully executed PSA is in place. And yes, I've seen buyers do this several times. Typically what happens is the buyers will underwrite the asset, some of them drive by the outside, they submit the letter of intent. Once the deals are narrowed down to the best two or three or four buyers, that's when I suggest to the sellers not to go to contract with any of them until all of them have seen the deal and then turned in their best and final. If one of those best and final offerers can't come see the place or doesn't want to until he's the chosen one, it's just too big of a risk to go to contract with them. As a seller, you'd just be setting yourself up for failure if the buyer goes to the asset after contract and it's not what they thought it was. I hope this video brought you value. If it did, hit the like button down below. And of course, after you've subscribed, hit the notification bell so you can be notified when the next video comes out each week. See you on the next one.